Hey everybody, today I am working on changing the blower motor resistor in my 2001 Dodge Ram 1500. Um, the uh, third and fourth highest speeds on the fan still work, but first and second speed hasn't worked in, I don't know, probably two years, and I've just sort of dealt with it. Uh, finally got tired of it, so I'm going to change the uh, resistor, and hopefully that fixes the problem. Um, I've already pulled the old one out. You can see it had basically disintegrated. I'm guessing that's definitely what was causing my problem. And you can see all the crap that came out when I pulled it out. Um, it's, my truck's actually usually pretty clean, so that all came out from under the dash. I removed the dash just to get access. Um, I mean, sorry, the uh, glove box. And you can see up under here, it's kind of dark, but that's the electrical connection right there that connects to the uh, resistor and it mounts right up in there. Okay, I'm getting ready to put the new resistor in. Uh, here's the one I got from Advanced Auto. It was, I think, about 60 bucks. Not too bad. As you can see, the new one's in a lot better shape. Um, it mounts, let's see, it's got, see the little notch on one side of the plug uh, that mounts mounts like this of course with the resistor part facing up into the underside of the dash the little uh, notch in the side there faces toward the driver's side like that um, and I had to use this little stubby screwdriver to get it out because it's sort of tucked up under there where the floorboard rises up and there's just not a lot of clearance so Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get it put in and uh, see if that solves my problem. Alright, well, I've got the new resistor put in. So you can see it right there. To locate it, you basically just trace this wire right there back towards the firewall. And where it plugs in is the actual resistor. It just sort of tucks up into the underside of the dash there. And it just got two screws that holds it in. I mean, it's really a simple fix. It, the hardest part is just getting to it. Like I said, I had to use that little stubby screwdriver. It's actually a ratcheting screwdriver, which helped quite a bit. Um, but shoot, I mean, once I was able to get my head up in there, it probably only took me about five minutes total from start to finish. So, anyway... Now the moment of truth. Got the ignition turned on. Let's fire up the heat and see if it works. Yep. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the second blower speed. That's the first. There's three. And four. So it looks like we're back in business. Be nice to have all four settings working again. So, pretty easy fix. Um, like I said, it cost about 60 bucks and took maybe five or ten minutes. So, I hope this video can help. Thanks for watching.